The next way to do this is to do it this way. Now, if closing day is July 16th, this is something I learned way back when I was in kindergarten school. My calendars are my, uh, my knuckles, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So all the knuckles are 31 days, all the valleys are 30 days. Make sense? January, February, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, but, so how many days in Ju January? 31. January has 31 days. How many days in February? February, for test purpose, it's always 28 days. Always 28 days in for, for, because they have to make a rule that is defined that will always be the right answer, right? Because if we're going by leap year, then there are going to be sometimes the answer will be wrong. So for test purpose, for test purpose, it's always 28. However, for the real thing in real life, you will count the actual number of days that are in that January, that particular year. Fair enough? So that's 28. March? 31. 31. April? 30. 30. May? OK, you guys are too dead for me. I'll do it myself. June? It's 30, get you in. What about July, class? Six, you sure it's 31? 16. Ah, 16. 16. And since we know 16 belongs to the seller, we include that. So if I count this, it should be 97. Uh, this is 7, uh, because that's 10, 17, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 18, 19. 197. So that's how many days there are. Correct? So if, there are, if, if we have this many days, and I have, so what am I going to do now? I'm going to take $840, $840 divided by what? 197. Divide by 365. Divide by 365, and then I'm going to multiply by what? 197, that should give me, hold on, I, let me do that in my, in my mind. Somebody can do that in their calculator, I bet you it'll be correct. That's a lot of math. <clears throat> give me a second. We good? Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to leave that there for, I'm going to erase this for a minute. I said trust but verify. We always trust, but we're going to verify. So we, we said C was the right answer without doing any math. But let's take a look at how it's done. OK? Look at it here. January 1st to July 16th, this is the time we are counting for. That's the time the seller must pay. We said that was 197 days, correct? That's what we did. Uh, let me show you, if you don't believe me. That's what we did, 197 days. We're not concerned with the buyer's days. Why? Because the buyer's going to be around. She's going to be responsible. He's going to be responsible for it. All right? So now we take the number of days, which is 197. So this is the third way of doing it. It's the same thing. I'll show you in a minute. It's the same thing. The only thing is, notice we took 840, 840 divided by 360 in our math. You agree? And then we multiply by 397. Here they just did it reverse and divide by 365. It's the same thing. Make sense? Mm -hmm. They did the multiplication first and then did the division. But overall, it's the exact same thing. 